right, for this project, you're going to need a pattern. To make this pattern, you're just going to take any size bowl plate to get a circle you want. I just used a regular bowl. You're going to need your uh, fabric pencil, a regular pencil, some scissors. Um, I forgot what this is called, but I think it's Rick Rack. So you'll need any color Rick Rack you want. Um, any colored thread. I'm particularly using an orange red and a tan color. Um, you're going to need a hand needle and a sewing machine and an ironing board. You're going to need uh, uh, some glue of any kind. Uh, pins and any kind of fabric. Um, I'm using this uh, silky fabric for my spider. This is going to be for the eyes and this is going to be for the feet. So any color fabric you want. Alright, so let's begin. Basically, what you're going to do is if you have an embroidered hoop, that's okay. But if you don't, it's still okay. So you're going to take um, your fabric pencil and you're going to draw a uh, mouth any particular shape I'm like this and then you're going to thread your needle and you're going to stitch um, along your drawed line of your mouth and then you're going to take in the tan color or whatever color you chose for your mouth and you're going to do the teeth. So you're going to draw out a mouth, you're going to stitch it just doing a regular basic stitch. It's just in and out, in and out, in and out. And you're going to tie it off in the back and then you should have something that looks like this and then I'll take you to the next step, okay? If you don't have the embroidery hoop, you're just, just going to leave it as is, but we're going to take it out of the embroidery hoop and now what you're going to do is we're going to take our pattern and you're going to try to line up uh, your face on here as best you can with um, and then you're going to cut one of these out and then you're going to cut another one out on the same piece of fabric on another piece of fabric so it, with your stitches you're just going to line the pattern up with the mouth make sure you don't get it too close to the edge because you have to have that seam allowance so we're just I'm going to show you what pin it and cut it out, okay? So cut one here and then one for your backing, alright? Okay, so now you've got your two pieces, your backing and your front. Um, now we're going to talk about the eyes, okay? So let me show you how to do that in a second. Right, so you're going to cut out your iris, two irises, any shape you want, and then two eyeballs. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your iris, glue, put some glue on it, glue it to your eyeball and do the same thing and then we're going to stitch around your eyeball and we're going to put a French knot in our eye and I'll show you what that looks like in a second, okay? Your French knot, you're going to get some thread, you're going to tie a knot, you're going to come up the back side from your work, then you're going to wrap it, I, my hands are in the way again. You're going to wrap it around your uh, needle four times. If you're using embroidery floss, it's only two times. So you should have something that looks like this. And then you're just going to stick it in your, uh, your fabric. Like so and you're going to give pull a little tension and you're going to pull it from the back all right i'll show you what that looks like in a second i don't know if you can see it but it's right there and you're going to do the same thing to your other side okay that's just to tack the eyeball down all right let me take you to the next step oh actually you're going to tie a knot so you're going to pick up a couple of threads and you're just going to loop your needle into the other loop and then pull tight and do the same thing and then fast. Alright, so you're going to cut eight pieces of Rick Rack in any length you want and then you're going to base stitch them on the edge 
of your spider, okay? And then we're going to, I'll show you what to do with your next piece, okay? So base stitch your, your uh, spider legs. All right. Now carefully you're going to tuck all of your uh, spider legs in. Careful not to catch any of them while you sew. And then you're going to sew along the edge. And you're just going to stitch uh, your two inch seam close. And then I made it more roughly and stuff. I stitched all the way around my bed, my spider. Alright, I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope you make this spider. Okay, have a nice day.